this is Cindy from Freeze Babies Fiber Frolic. Um, I just thought I would do the uh, 10, 10 yarny tag questions um, that uh, I think Crystal from Bag o Day started it out. And um, so, I'll, and I, Joe at um, Joe's Web um, also tagged some of us. So I thought I would go ahead and answer the questions. I'm going to be all, all, the, all, all over the place on where I'm looking because the words are over there. Okay, so number one is what is your favorite color of yarn? Um, I really like pink, but most of my preferences run to um, bright colors like uh, dual tones like pink, teal, um, purple, even some shades of green. Um, I like stuff that's bright. I even like neon colors, like especially neon orange and neon pink and neon green. Okay, my favorite weight of yarn. Well, um, I live in Florida, so I don't wear a lot of these bulky things. This is just my niece's pocket shawl. I still got to mail out, but I'm cold and I decided to wear it because it's closer than my other shawl. Um, and this is uh, anniversary case, what I just love. This is probably my favorite bulkier weight. I think this is number five yarn. It's the anniversary cakes from Karen, which I think they're going to discontinue. I had managed to buy one of this color and then, and then like three other different colors when it was on sale for $19.99. Um, but my favorite weight of yarn is probably going to be two. I like finger white sock yarn. I don't use it as much as I used to. Well, I used to knit a lot of socks, but I've been doing using the two color weight in my shawls, especially for the ones I'm using here. But I also use a lot of four weight. Um, in the last year, I've started using more DK weight because it's become more popular than the number four sometimes. So I'm trying it out. Um, I love some of the baby weights. Um, Especially the ones from Ice Yarn, um, they're um, they feel so good. The baby, well, um, I think this is a no, it's Stylecraft. One of the um, projects I'm working on should be right here. Let me see. Oh boy, oh, I must have here it is. I'm keeping this in my Erin Lane bag. It's um I think it's a two fur and it's cat cat yoga poses. Isn't that cute? I got this a while ago. But this is a um I'm doing using this for the tea dottles crochet along for the mystery cozy cozy mystery crochet along. And this is the uh, ice yarns. Softly baby. And I love this yarn. It is so soft. I got enough to make my um Afghan for the year. So I think I, the pack of yarn came in, I think packs of four, and I got four of each color. But man, man this is some of soft, soft fabric. If you can get ice yarn, it's it's very nice. Um, it's, like I said, it's a baby, it's a three, three weight. I said I use a lot of three and four weight. And I believe this is also a three weight. This is a light three, if it's a three weight. Um, what does it say? Cream acrylic, anti-pilling. Oh, yuck. I don't see. Hmm. Takes a, a G4.4 millimeter. Um, but this is Stylecraft Special. Yeah, DK. I really like this yarn, too. It's not as soft as a Softly Baby, but I got this as a kit for the um, make-along for the meadow blanket. From Addict, Addict 64 and I'm just starting it out but it really is it's a nice yarn so yeah I'd have to say um, anything between two and four I love like I said I love sock yarn I collect it um, usually when I do giveaways I give away I try to include at least one um, skein of my sock yarn that I collect because um, most of it's hand dyed and I don't think I'll ever use it all so I like to share it some people don't have the opportunity to get hand dyed yarn. So, um, my favorite style of yarn. Um, I really like the cake yarns that are multi colors, um, like a uh, mandala and, oh, gosh, um, the cupcake yarn. 
Um, some of those yarns that are, you know, they self striping or self ombre like this one. I love them because one, you don't have to change your, your yarn. So there's less ends to weave in. If you're not color controlling and just let it go, it's a great way to get a lot of colors and without having, like I said, without having to change your colors very often. Um, I guess my favorite fiber yarn is probably acrylic. Second to that would be, um, a superwash blend for socks. Um, if I could afford it, I would get it merino, cashmere, and nylon, uh, or a silk mix, but I can't afford it usually. So I do a lot of acrylic. And I, the, the acrylic that he used nowadays is way different from your grandma's acrylic from back in the 70s. I have my very first afghan I made, which was made in probably 70 one or 72 it's it's that old it was the first thing i made crocheting and i was probably eight maybe and i still have it and really it's not that bad it's made out of it's made out of acrylic and shades of pink and white of course pink you know um and i still have it it's got a few extra holes in it it's a granny square i think i made giant granny squares and sewed them all together it was big enough to cover my twin bed at least as a top a coverlet at that time so um i like like i said i like a lot of different fibers and and even wool roving that's you know used for spinning i don't want to spin but i like to use the roving i used to do more needle felting than i do now but i love doing that um favorite brand of yarn that i can get easily in this country gosh i mean i have a lot of yarns i use that are local um karen Simply Soft is one of my favorites. Karen Cakes, Mandela Cakes, uh, anything by Lion Brand even. Um, I'm, the Afghan I'm making here. Where did I do my hook? There it is. Okay. This one is going to be a giant blanket for the same niece I made this for. Um, and this is made out of homespun. And uh, some people just don't like homespun. I love it. I've been using it ever since it came out years and years and years ago you know and the colors change but um like i said i i'm using multiple colors but most of them are changing from a different color like this purple is solid but the one with the green and the beige in it is another color as is the um rococo down here and the cream up here so um it's got a lot of different colors in it and when i got this yarn i got it I think it was 10 for $20 or something like that or 10 for 10 something ridiculous cheap price I do that a lot with lion brand when they have their stuff on cheap cheap like shawl in the ball is another one of my favorites um I get a lot of that it's my favorite thing to make shawl out of next to sock yarn of course I don't have any of it sitting here I've been giving it away so um I also have shawl in the cake which all the stuff that I got now I'm giving away also so um yeah, so any of those um, stuff from Hobby Lobby. I don't go to Hobby Lobby as much for yarn. Um, even though I prefer Joann's and um, Michael's and some of the online stores. But I do go to Hobby Lobby because uh, it's convenient. It's like half a mile down the road. But it's usually to get something I need in a pinch that I want to get right away. I like Joann's and Michael's because I can order online and pick up at the store. I don't necessarily have to go in the store at this time, at the time of COVID. I think since I moved here two years ago, I've been to Michael's inside the actual store once or twice. I, like I said, I don't usually go into the stores that I can help it. Um, let's see. What brand, uh, what is your favorite brand that isn't easy to get within your country? Okay. Uh, Hobie, 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 Hobie. Number one. Um, I don't have any sitting here, but I ate for cotton Hobie, um, which is a, I think it's a two or a three fingering weight. Um, I use it a lot to make amigurumi. Again, I don't have any sitting right here, but that's, um, Hobie is my favorite. And then second to that is, um, ice yarn. Like I said, I showed you the baby yarn that I got. Um, Hobie, um, they ship pretty fast. Ice does too. I mean, relative to lion brand if you order online from them they're actually slower than hobie or ice ice yarn their shipping is more expensive than hobie 
but it's all relative because ice yarns prices are almost like a bulk price in you know bigger lots so i i can justify the cost um on that one let's see your favorite online and favorite brick and mortar store okay my favorite online store wow i don't know because i get some stuff from so many places all over um i find that joanne's website is really easy to follow um and also um hobie now ice yarns i get a little overwhelmed the way they have their set set up um and i also like to buy hand dyed yarns from my look from people online a lot of it on etsy or there's three people um i order from online that are either local or i know them from their podcast i feel comfortable ordering from them uh for instance knit style yarns who has a podcast and then she has a online store she doesn't she used to do it on etsy but she doesn't anymore also um olive and to you which is another local florida hand dyers um i get from them when once in a while i used to buy more when i had more of a yarn budget um and i do give away a lot of their stuff um same way with casual fashion queen which is my friend sheena and she um god she does beautiful the yarn too so those are the three that come to my brain that i can think of um and then um let's see do i keep my scrap yarn absolutely um because i do like making scrap afghans right now uh, well this has been going on a couple years i'm making a granny striped gar um blanket that's going to be big enough for a double bit it's going to take me forever because like i said i'm making it out of sock yarn um and then i'm using the magic knot to do a continuous ball yarn although i don't always make it a big yarn ball i just do it little by little but anyhow that's what i use with my sock yarn um and then i also keep my balls of acrylic yarn in a box and then, like I said, as if I want to do a scrappy project, it's available. Yeah, I do keep everything. Um, let's see. Favorite thing to crochet or knit? Mm. Crochet, it's probably going to be um, afghans and um, shawls. I do like made, making baby stuff. I don't make a lot of baby sweaters. I will now because I have some grandnieces that like ba playing with baby dolls, so I promise their mom and their grandma that I would make them some sweaters. I did make them dresses for Christmas and I sent the dolls at that time. So they have a little wardrobe started. I also crocheted them. I sewed them dresses and I crocheted them dresses. So they have a little bit of stuff started, but I really would like to make them some hats and jackets and maybe some scarves. Um, my favorite thing to knit, oh gosh, it has to be socks. I don't wear them so much anymore. But I used to make a lot of socks. And um, so that's why I have got so much sock yarn. Um, I still haven't gone through any of my tote boxes I've got. Um, I have one big tote box. Plus I have some drawers in there too. And I think I've got some odds and ends and project bags around. Um, so so um, yeah, for knitting, it sucks. I have been knitting longer than I have been crocheting. I started knitting and when I was five but I'm still really slow um I still consider myself an intermittent immediate knitter because I'm still afraid to do some things like intarsia or you know multi-colored knitting fair isle um steaking scares the heck out of me so with, with um with socks you can make fancy looking stuff that's not very hard and it's more I have a head tendency. I'm ADD. I'm OCD. I have a short attention span, and so and I have memory problems. So socks work for me because you know it, they don't take me so long. I mean, I and I don't get second sock syndrome. Even though I I knit them one at a time, I do like to finish them. I think I've made maybe two dozen pairs of socks over the years. I've been 
knitting socks for almost 20 years. So, um, and again, I, I like to not have to change colors. I do change colors sometimes for the toe and the, um, rim, but, um, or the ribbing as you call it. But, um, again, I like to pick patterns that are textural rather than multicolored. Let the, let the stitch definition do the design element. Um, my favorite sock pattern is called Hermione's Favorite Socks. Um, I use that as a referral for how I do my heels. I like the, I like to make the toe flap with the gusset um, and the, I, it's the, I have a partridge heel flap, which is basically a, a um, what do you call it, a slip stitch or, yeah, um, slip one, knit one, slip one, knit one gives you really good depth to your heel to give you extra cushion. That's still my favorite. Um, someday when I get myself to concentrate and sit and actually do a task, I would like to teach how to make socks. Um, but there's so many other good tutorials out there. So, um, and I learned how to knit socks off of a book by Kat Voorhees called Sock Soar on Two Needles. Cause I, and I still do it the same way. Two circular needles. One is a 16 inch. And one is a 20 or 24 inch. The 16 inch has a shorter um, needle, so I can always tell that where I start my my project is the first side is the 16 inch because it's shorter. So that I never have to worry about marking where I start and, and stop because that's the shorter needle. So that's my secret tip for um, knitting socks and. It, it's worked for me over the years. I've tried using the 12 inch socks, you know, uh, circulars so you can do one at a time. I, I find working with the smaller needle like that come, um, not so good for me. I'd rather do um, circulars if I'm going to go that route. And I do use circulars sometimes, but most, I mean, sometimes, but for the most part, when it comes to circulars, anything I can do, I mean, um, I use circulars all the time. I'm, I'm thinking of DPNs. DPNs I will use. A lot of people swear by them for socks, but uh, stuff that I can do on the DPN, I can still do on circulars. Um, and, and, and it works. Even when you only have like four or five stitches on on your each needle. Like when you're doing decreases for a hat, a lot of times they'll have you switch to DPNs. Why well, don't? I stay on the circulars, and, like, and I usually... I'll, if I'm using like a 16 inch to make a hat, I might switch to two circulars like a 16 and a 24 so that when I get down to the um, in decreases one at the very top and you have like eight stitches at the top, um, it's no big deal. I can still, you know, do everything I would have done with the um, DPNs. You just might have to use some stitch markers to mark where you're doing the decreases, etc., etc. So now that I've rambled on about that, um, if I could crochet or knit one last thing for the rest of my life, what would it be and what yarn would you use? Well, I would like to, I mean, after, you know, collecting all this, I don't know if I have a heck of a lot of scrap yarn, but I would say um, scrap yarn and make a blanket. Or make blankets for everybody using just nothing but scraps. I mean, ideally, that's that's the idea behind granny squares. Um, they are for grannies to make up scrap projects for the people in their life. That's my analogy, anyways. So that is it on the tag. Um, who can I tag on here? A lot of people um, in in my group on Zoom have already been tagged, and I would have tagged them, but I'm gonna name. Sherry from Sherry Bag Holding. You have to check her channel out. She's adorable. She's I've adopted her. And I wish Jennifer Simpson would start doing videos because she's she's a comedian. I mean, she could make, make, just do stand up easily. Um, let's see who else. Oh, I guess that's it for now. Sherry K loves yarn. Um. Judy from Crochet Every Day with Judy. I think they've all been tagged already. But anyhow, I'll tag all of you.
so in uh so if you want to do it go to it um i took my list off of um the bag of days list um if i get a chance i'll copy it on here um i i might i might not you guys i'm, I'm really pooped <laughs> i uh i had um a shot in my leg or hip today and um so and i've been having a lot of pain but i'm doing all right i'm, I'm getting no crocheting and um i'm working on willy-nilly like i always do and stuff i should have my colleen these colleen blanket done this week so i have some bags i'm working on too i want to have laura from mimi's mad mimi's crochet and farming for her giveaway which ends the 23rd midnight alaska time um if you want to still get tickets you better move on it it's um you get the tickets for five dollars each or six oh no five for twenty dollars and then um you can pay for them on paypal to mama swift three at gmail so anyhow have a very nice day or see your day and be sure you take some time to enjoy either spending time with your friends and family socially distance wear your masks um and i love you guys and take care